Good evening, distinguished Toastmasters, dignitaries, contest chair, fellow Toastmasters, and cheesecake. I'm not sure if I'm flustered from the previous speakers, but I have a sudden urge to have chocolate. Uh, I need to see who is hot and spicy because I'm sweet and sour. I lost 275 pounds 12 years ago because my ex-husband did not read the book on how to have a healthy marriage, and that's how I lost the 275 pounds. I got divorced. But I digress. I have been in ministry for 37 years as a pastor, as an evangelist. Thank you. I know uh, I'm only 40. I started when I was three, but really I'm slightly over 40, I'm 60. <laughs> but it afforded me a great opportunity to be able to speak in other ministries. And so it would happen on one of those days that I was invited to speak in a Spanish ministry. One of my dreams come true, just to be able to share the word with other organizations. And so I get there and I'm telling you, I'm on fire. I am so hot, I was burning myself with my message. The people were responding, but I had a translator the whole time. I'd say, blah, 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 and she'd go, blah, 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 She followed every move I made. I walked this way, she was right behind me. And the whole service was just beautiful. But then, I have been studying Spanish on my own. That's right, you heard me. And so, at the end of the services that I do, I like to pray individually with the people. So my translator invited those that needed prayer to come right in front of me. It was beautiful. And I told her, I got this. I got it. I'm going to speak Spanish. And the church is going to go, whoo! So there is my lady in front of me. And she just looks so afraid. And so I leaned forward with my microphone and I go, Senora, tu tienes mierda. <laughs> Same reaction in church. <laughs> I thought they were so impressed with my language <laughs> that I didn't stop. I go again. Senora, tu tienes mierda. And out of the side of my eye, I see my translator coming. <laughs> I look down and I see the pastor and his wife going. <laughs> and she goes, my translator's whispering in my ear, Pastor Missy, what are you trying to say? <laughs> I want to ask her if she's afraid. She said, Pastor Missy, it's me or no. Mierdo, this is what you're saying. <laughs> Do you know what I was asking this poor woman in front of me? Honey, are you full of crap? <laughs> sort of takes away your authority. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to stop. I look down. And here is this lady going, Si, sí, claro. <laughs> yes, I am full of crap. <laughs> they thought I was some prophetic person there, that I could decide that. So I prayed with the woman. My translator's off to the side. I'm going to do it again, though. I must redeem myself. I must show them I know the language. And there off in the distance was a friend of mine. His name is Willie. And I know him. And I know he has cancer. So I wanted to tell him that Jesus is his salvation. So I go, Willie, sabe que Jesucristo es tu zanahoria. Same reaction. Instead of saying, Jesucristo es tu salvador, I said, Jesus is your carrot. <laughs> Great healing ministry going on there. The people are like, oh. 
the pastor's like, Ave Maria. My coming out. What does one do when there's an A and the O at the end of the word? It makes a big difference in the Spanish language. But again, I don't give up quite easily. I just think that people need to see how much I love them. So the whole church is sitting there and they're, and we're accustomed to raising our hands and you know, singing. So I get the whole church involved. This is it. Here it comes. Mi hermanos y hermanas, levantase su pies. Same reaction. I'm telling the whole church to raise their feet. Not their manos, their pieds. Again, the pastor. The beauty of this church is, here they all are. And I'm getting moved by the spirit, so I'm on stage going. (laughs) We became one that day. (laughs) You know the beauty of trying to speak Spanish when you're a gringa, all-American girl, is that they realized I was trying to meet them where they are with their language the language of love, the language of caring. And so when I went shopping at Walmart, this is all I hear because the whole church shopped there. Senora, tu tienes mierda, contest master. (laughs) 